Hi, welcome back to my channel, Velvet Kino. It's movie review time. Hello fellow movie buffs, today we are embarking on a mystical adventure, a review of the movie Big Trouble in Little China. This movie is one of my all-time favorite movies, but first, before I get into it, let's set the mood, go grab a snack, might I suggest some delicious Chinese takeout, because nothing complements a classic John Carpenter film like some delectable dim sum. I'm drinking hot tea clap. Let's get into it. This 1986 masterpiece by John Carpenter features Kurt Russell as the iconic Jack Burton. It's all in the reflexes. I also want to shine a spotlight on the unforgettable performances of James Hong and Dennis Dunn in the bustling underworld of San Francisco's Chinatown. The plot? Oh, it's a simple tale of trucker Jack Burton who gets dragged into an ancient mystical battle in, you guessed it, Little China. It's like if Indiana Jones were less about archaeology and more about unexpected sorcery. You get it. Kurt Russell's Jack Burton, part charming rogue, part bumbling hero. <laughs> A doofus, one might say. Let's talk about James Hong as Lil Pan. His portrayal of the immortal sorcerer is both magnetic and menacing. He steals every scene with his powerful presence. It's also, if you were <laughs> Lil Pan, Lil Pan, <laughs> it can be kind of scary, okay? Dennis Dunn as Wang Chi, he isn't just a side chick. Side chick, I mean, sidekick. <laughs> Not a side chick, he's a side kick. He's not just a side kick. He is the heart of the film, okay? He's the heart of the film. That's the whole point. I'm saying Dennis Dunn as Wang Chi isn't just a side kick. He is the heart of the film. Um, did you get that? His journey, his skills, his courage, they play a crucial role. It makes him one of the highlights of the film. And let's not forget his dynamics with Russell's Jack Burton. It's comedy gold. It's... <laughs> I love it. The special effects here, they're pure 80s gold, where neon lights were bright and special effects were, well, charmingly analog. Practical, beautiful effects galore. It's like a love letter to a time where CGI was just a twinkle in Hollywood's eye. Well, a John Carpenter classic. The script's brilliance lies in its humor. It blends absurdity and wit without dipping into cheese. Mmm, dipping into cheese, cheese dip. So the script is a testament to the actor's comedic timing. Especially, especially, you can see this in the banter between Lo Pan, Russell's character, and then Wang Chi, Dennis Dunn's character. Those three of them, is it a love triangle? No, not at all. This isn't a love triangle. That's not what I was saying. Are you paying attention? From a movie lover's perspective, this film is pure gold. I give this a 10 out of 10 sharks. You might notice that instead of from a chum bucket to five sharks, my rating scale is now out of chum bucket to 10 sharks, okay? Five sharks? That's just too few sharks to deal with, said no one ever. So this movie? 10 sharks, no doubt, 10 sharks, 10 sharks, 10 sharks. The direction, the sets, the lighting, that monster in that one scene, <laughs> that actually did give me nightmares for years to come. They all work together to create this vibrant comic book-esque universe that's both otherworldly and familiar. To wrap up, Big Trouble in Little China is an exhilarating blend of fantasy, humor, and action. It's a testament to Carpenter's vision and the absolute stellar cast. Kurt Russell, James Hong, Dennis Dunn, we salute you. This film didn't just entertain, it became an absolute cult classic and inspired filmmakers to think outside the box. Outside the truck. Outside the truck or box. In conclusion, Big Trouble is a cinematic gem. It's like finding a fortune cookie that says, oh, wow something cool. Thank you for joining me on this nostalgic trip. If you liked the review, give it a thumbs up and let me know what your favorite movie moment is. Also, please let me know which one of Lopin's three sorcerers was your favorite. Mine growing up, my favorite was always the electricity guy. You just got that spark, you know?